कंसिडर द फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ओ फिक्स ग्राफ्ट बिलो रिफ्लेक्ट एफ ओ फिक्स ओवर द एक्सेस सो दैट इन द लास्ट वर्क इन द लास्ट वर्क शीट एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू इन इट हाउ so in this worksheet we will do the warm up consider the function y is equal to f of x graphed below reflect f of x over the x axis so how we are going to reflect the graph over the x axis this is what we have already done in the our last video and we have already done learnt it how to reflect the graph over the x axis and over the y axis so to reflect the graph over the x axis we know that the x coordinates we have we will have x and negative y to reflect over the x axis x values will remain same but y coordinates will turn to their opposite signs so whenever you need to reflect over x axis remember the one thing x coordinate remain same y coordinates turn to opposite signs okay so very easy way to do is write x and y coordinates first okay so what are the x coordinates 2 1 negative 1 negative 3 negative 5 what are the y coordinates uh, if it's 2 it's going to be 1 2 3 it's 1 it's going to be 0 negative 1 it's going to be 4 negative 3 it's going to be Four, negative five. It's going to be one, two, three, negative four. So what we have to do is change all the y coordinates: negative, 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 positive. Now let's plot the graph according to this. Okay, so x is same. Just change the y. Two and negative three. One, two, three. One and zero would be same. Minus one and minus four. One, two, three, four. Negative four here. And minus five and plus four. like this so graph would be something like this okay what is the equation for this new graph so because the original equation was y is equal to f of x so this equation is y is equal to negative of f of x okay reflect the fx is over the y axis so what we have to do is y will remain same and x will get the negative sign so very easy just write x and y coordinates 1 2 so x is 2 then x is 1 then x is negative 1 here x is negative 2 negative 3 sorry 4 and then negative 5 for x is 2 y is 3 for x is 1 y is 0 for minus 1 it's 4 for minus 3 it's 4 for minus 5 it's Minus four. Now we need to change the signs of x. 
ओके सो लेट्स प्लॉट इट ओके एक्स इज नेगेटिव टू ओके माइनस वन एक्स इज माइनस टू x is minus 2 and y is plus 3 x is minus 1 and y is 0 then x is plus 1 and y is 4 x is plus three and y is four. x is plus five and y is one, two, three, negative four. So like this, 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 we have this. So remember, when we, whenever we have to reflect over x-axis, change the signs of y. Whenever we have to reflect over y-axis, change the sign of x. What is the equation for this new graph? Y is equal to f. And we're changing the sign of x to so negative of x. Here, we're changing the sign of y, so y is equal to minus f of x. Okay. In explorations below, consider how we could perform the solid back graph y is equal to f of x to the dotted one. In each section, looks for pattern. Use the following words to describe what you see: stretch horizontally or vertically, compress horizontally or vertically, translate up or down. Task one: Exploring y is equal to f of x plus minus k. Describe in words how could you transform the solid graph so that it maps onto the dotted graph. We need to write the names. So it's f of x plus four. So we need to do is we need to shift this graph upwards by four units. f of x minus three. We need to shift downwards or move down by three units. Mm -hmm. Y is equal to f of x plus minus h. Describe in words. Okay. We need to f x plus three. Okay. What is this? This is the function f of x. First, we have the complete function, and we are adding four. So we need to move up by four or move down by three. But here, the only the x component is moving x plus three. So what is going? What we are going to do is move only along x-axis. So if we have to move al only along x-axis, it means we can move either left or right. So move left three, and x minus four move right four. For negative, move right. For positive, move left. So when it's x plus three, graph move towards left. When it's x minus four, graph move towards right. So the intuition is opposite. Against. Intuition, because we need to think that if it's x plus three, so it's positive side of the x-axis, but we need to go on to the left side. If it's x negative four, it's negative side of the x-axis, but we need to go to the other side. So we have to do the opposite one. Okay, describe how the graph of f of x is transformed to create the graph of g of x in each case below. Then write an equation for g of x in terms of f of x. So how it has transformed? Let's see. The graph here, the point is one zero, and the point over here, this point is three and three from the x-axis and five from the y-axis. So the graph of the x-axis moved from one to three, and the y moved from zero to five. So for the x-axis, it moves. Two unit right, and for y axis it move 
5 unit up. So the equation would be g of x is equal to f of x move to unit right f of x if it's right we need to subtract x minus 2 and 5 unit up plus 5 okay now this one very easy this is the point and this is moving 1 2 units downwards x is moving uh, y is moving okay so what is this point x axis it's minus 5 and uh, minus 4 and this point is 0 from the x axis and negative 6 from the y axis so for the x coordinate it's moving from minus 5 to 0 which is which moves it's it's moving towards the right side so it would be f of x minus 5 and for the y coordinate it's moving from minus 4 to minus 6 it means the difference of 2 it's moving downwards so it would be minus 2 when we have to move downwards we have to subtract when we have to move upwards we need to add so g of x is equal to f of x minus 5 minus 2 Use the graph in the tables to have to decide how to transform the solid graph to the dotted graph. Okay. So for this, this is the solid graph and this is the dilated graph. So minus 5, minus 5, minus 3, minus 3, minus 1, 1, 2. So x remains the same. It means there is no change horizontally. Vertically, it's minus 4, minus 8. So it's 2 into fx. So vertically, it dilates by 2. If it is change in the y-axis, so it's going to di uh, vertically dilate by 2. If change in the y-axis, it means uh, vertically it's moving. Now, Minus 5, minus 5, minus 3, 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 2. So, x axis is same. Y axis is doing the half. So, vertically it dilates by 1 by 2. Use the graph in the tables. You have to decide how to transform the solid graph to the dotted graph. Okay, again the same thing. Now horizontally dilate by 1 by 2. Okay. And here horizontally dilate by 2. Okay, so what is does each person match what you expected to the transposition be? So if it is dilating horizontally, it's in the opposite direction. Like if it is negative, uh, if it is two uh, two f of x, so it's move it should move forward, but it's going backward. So horizontally, it's going opposite. vertically it is matching intentions so what is happening in that uh, let's check over here that if the graph here is moving two units towards right along the x-axis so if it's moving two units towards right along the x-axis so we have to put the negative sign but if it's moving two units towards left we need to put the positive sign like it would be opposite as this which is the equation for the new graph so it's x negative of y y is equal to minus f of x and if it's moving only horizontally we could write f of is equal to minus x 
okay again in this we have f of x minus 4 we have to subtract something from the x but it's going towards left side it's going towards right side but if we have to add something in the x it will go in the left side so if you need to add in x it's going to go in the on the left side if you will subtract it's going the right side so it's going opposite to the intention but vertically it's going same as the intention says if you're going to uh, makes five uh, add five units it will go upward if you will subtract five units it will go downward okay Com describe the transformation that would map the graph f of x onto the graph g of x 1 by 3 5 f of x so 1 by 3 is y so y will be we need to compact f of x vertically compress f of x vertically by 1 by 3 and if we are multiplying something by 5 so and horizontally by 1 by 5 The transformation equation accounts for all three different types of the transformations that can occur. Y is equal to A, F, B, X plus H plus K. So if you need to reflect, Y is equal to negative F of X, reflect vertically over X axis. So it's going to reflect vertically over X axis. If F is equal to F minus X, reflects horizontally over Y axis. So if this is a graph and reflect vertically over x axis negative f of x because if it's going to reflect it's going to go like this upward or it's going to come like this downward now this is for the first point for the second point reflect horizontally over y axis it will go like this horizontally it will move horizontally in this direction next point is a f of x a is greater than zero complex vertically it will become like this and if a is greater than 1 then expand vertically like this for b of x expand horizontally and complex horizontally and for the last one f of x plus k plus k mean if k is greater than 0 it's going to translate up if k is less than 0 it's going to translate down if h is f x plus h there is something adding with this a in this x then h is greater than 0 then translate left and if h is greater less than 0 then translate towards the right opposite is going to happen over here the point 2 negative 5 is on the graph of f of x find the coordinates of the corresponding point after f of x has undergone the following transformations now we have we are given with the uh, function f of x and function f of x has the point negative 2 2 and negative 5 so we need to uh, find the coordinates of the corresponding point of the same point after the f of x has done the corresponding following transformation so negative of f negative this negative means let's understand this equation this negative sign means to reflect over y axis over x axis this three means horizontally dilate by one by three and four means move plus four moves left negative four moves right and this negative two means move down okay how did we understand this equation to understand this equation we first need to understand this equation and what is this equation this means a is me a means vertical reflection
reflect over x axis and when we will affect x uh, reflect over x axis we will affect y values what does this b means horizontal reflection And when we will reflect horizontally, we will affect x values. Okay. What does this H means? Horizontal translation. And the last is also horizontal translation effect x values and the last is vertical translation it affects y values so now whatever equation is given to us we are going to compare it with this equation okay let me do it again for you. Y is equal to A dot F B X plus H plus K. Okay. So what is a here a is negative one what is b here b is three what is h here it is four what is k here k is negative two okay so now according to the information that we learned just a means vertical reflection a means we need to affect vertical reflection simply b means horizontal reflection H means horizontal translation and K means vertical translation okay <clears throat> so coming back to our question what we need to do is reflect X values with negative 1 So what was the x value? x value is 2 as given. So what we have to do is reflect x values by negative 1 means we need to change the y value. So we have we are not going to change anything over here with a. Now b is horizontal reflection means we won't we need to change the x values we have to put the negative sign sign with the x value so if it is 3 so there will be horizontal reflection so it's a horizontal reflection we're going to affect x value so it's multiplied by 1 by 3 we will get 2 by 3 now horizontal translation we are going to if x plus h it means h is po uh, if it's positive we need we are need to subtract this so negative of 4 multiply with negative of 4 and that will give us minus 10 by 3 Okay, now y value. 
y value is given as minus 5 vertical refraction by minus 1 so it means we have to affect the y value over here so multiply we are going to multiply with minus 1 I will get plus 5 horizontal refraction is 10 horizontal translation is vertical translation is minus 2 which I will get 3 so the new coordinates of x y would be minus 10 by 3 and 3 state the transformation that map g of x onto y is equal to 2g x plus 3 okay so if we match with our current equation that is y is equal to a dot f b x plus h plus k so it's 2g it means a is equal to 2g and there is no b given x plus 3 which means h is equal to 3 so there are two things a is equal to 3 vertically um, vertical refraction is uh, refract vertically by 2 Translate horizontally by 3. I can write it over here. A is equal to 2. H is equal to 3 for this part here. Okay. Sketch the graph I is equal to 2G X plus 3. So X, Y may... What changes that we have to encounter in x, y? x is going to, we need to reflect vertically by 2. So, it's going to affect the y values and y would be 2y. Translate horizontally by 3. So, it's going to be x minus 3. Okay, so the x values are 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Y are 0, 1 and 1, 2 and 4, negative 1 and 1 negative 2 and plus 4 so when we are going to change this it will become x minus 3 so 0 minus 3 minus 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 2 minus 3 is minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 these are the x values and y values 2 times 0 is 0, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, 2 1s are 2. These will be x and y values. Minus 5, 8. Okay. So these will be the values of the new graph. And let's plot the graph according to these values. Okay, so x would be minus 3, 0, 1. And y would be 0. x would be minus 2 and y would be plus 2 x would be minus 1 and y would be 8 x would be minus 4 and y would be plus 2 minus 5 and 8 this will be the new graph the graph f of x undergoes several transformations to create the graph g of x. 
does g of x has the same shades as f of x in if not what dilations must occur so the graph f of x has this shape and the graph g of x has this shape so does they have same shapes no what dilations may occur So this graph is starting from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And this graph is starting from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it, ha is, it is 12 boxes long and it's 8 boxes long. So it is vertically dilated. by 12 by 8 which is equal to 3 by 2 this g of x has the same directions as f of x if not what reflections must is must occur reflections it, it is reflected over y-axis okay how would the graph of f of x look after the dilations and reflections you observed above? Sketch the new graph. Okay. So step one would be reflect over. Reflect over y-axis means change the signs of the x-axis values. And then dilate means vertically by 3.2 that is 1.5 what translations might happen now to move your sketch part from part c onto g or x so g of x would be equal to 3 by 2 f of negative of x plus 1 okay the point minus 3 7 is on the graph of f of x find the coordinates of the corresponding point after the following transformations so we have also already learned how to do the transformations. The x, uh, x the point of the x-axis is minus three. So what transformations is it undergoing? So first of all, we need to find out the values of our statement, and that would be y is equal to a f b x plus h plus k. According to this, five a is equal to five. According to this x plus h means h is equal to 2 and k means k is equal to 1 so x is minus